Hi guys, Alex P Performance Reviews. Welcome to another vlog. Um, today I am basi basically, 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 at the mini challenge at Snetterton Rounds, and we are here with um, Chloe uh, Hewitt and Stuart Racing again after their good uh, round opening round at Donington. So I'm here all day. We've come here or got here um, reasonably early, but we had we had a bit of, bit of a story. We had our classic mini. We were up in the morning, went basically to Berry uh, Mini uh, BMW, got some car parts for, um, I think it's Sammy, she needed some parts, she needed a, a couple of gear linkage cables for her ra uh, race Mini. We have basically went straight down to Mini at Berry, picked it up, hot footed it down here before uh, their qualification, which is literally five or six minutes away. Um, but we got there, we probably, to give them about 50 minutes worth of time to basically get this mini out for qualification. I think they're gonna be out uh, on circuit thanks to the mini and thanks to us, so that's pretty cool. So really, really good little story there. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go down to the garage to see the guys at Cheer Racing and help them out. And fingers crossed, at their home rounds of Snetterton, they're gonna do really, 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 really well. So she's got new tires uh, gone on, um, some good little changes on the car. Hopefully she'll be even quicker than she's been already and uh, yeah, it'll be a good day. So keep an eye on the channel and we'll see you. Stuart Racing, or Stuart Racing should I say, and it's the second round at Snetterton, obviously you'd have seen the uh, uh, video from Donington, if you don't, click up there and you'll see it, so uh, yeah, we're out basically ready to see the qualifications, uh, hopefully it goes well, Chloe's got some new parts on the car, new tyres, so fingers crossed it should be, uh, should go really well. So that's the end of qualification. Uh, Chloe finished P7, um, one thousandth of a second off P6, but yeah, really, really good, uh, or reasonable start. Um, new set of slicks, so they need to still switch on, I'd say. Um, and she's not a great deal off the pace of kind of, you know, the sixth, fifth, fourth, and third kind of placing. Um, so with a good push and um, the slicks kind of coming on and her getting more fa a favour the setup, um, I'm sure she'll be back in the game. So keep Attention paddock, attention paddock, three of the cars, the assembly area please. Obviously, the end end of the first race, I've shown you how uh, Chloe done. She was P7 um, out of uh, 11 runners, so not too bad. Um, probably would have liked to have come maybe one more step up, but she's one thousandth of a second off of basically getting that uh, sixth place. She's capable of um, you know going further up the field. It's been declared a wet race, and uh, the rain has come down. It's stopped now. But there's definitely lots of water out on circuit, so everyone is out on uh, wet tyres. Um, they're specific Dunlop wet tyres, so really, really good rain tyres. So um, it, the car should perform decent. Obviously, the times are not going to be anywhere near um, what you'd do in a, on a slick anyway, but should be good. Everyone's on the same le level playing field. So fingers crossed she can move up and um, get further than um, seventh on the grid and put herself in with a good chance to be uh, getting further up the uh, kind of um, steps in the uh, kind of league table that she uh, races in. So uh, fingers crossed, keep watching on and we'll, we'll see how she gets on.
on, right on. So that is the end of the first race from day one. Um, we're back here tomorrow at Snerton. Um, it was a wet race, it started getting a bit dry, but obviously they definitely needed to go on the uh, wet tyres. Um, and Chloe started P7 and ended up P6, which is really, really good. So it was a bit of a result, result really. So I think she's really, really happy with that. Um, obviously there's two races tomorrow, which is great, and I'll bring you those as well. Fingers crossed, I think it's gonna be a wet day all day tomorrow but yeah it should should be uh, good fun and she's now um, you know got more fay with the uh, wet setup as such or wet tires and what it feels like so yeah tomorrow should be a good day um, fingers crossed trouble free and uh, yeah keep an eye out and I'll let you know how she gets a play here and thankfully Michael and Jam has moved out of their way just as they turn their way through Brundle and up towards Nelson so I'm back again today at Snetterton it's the second day now for the mini challenge and we're here for again the Cooper S races so keep watching on and we'll let you know how Chloe gets on the first race on our Sunday day um, there are a few race that one unfortunately Sammy Bowler um, has come off and hit two uh, barriers um, and I think the car's in a reasonably bad way I, I don't know for sure but we'll see it in a minute so I'll get you, get you videos, videos of that uh, Chloe come off the track as well and uh, ended up finishing P8 so not great but not that bad either at times were um, somewhere there there about sort of sixth and fifth so that's good times so anyway um, car is uh, nothing no damage on her car so we'll get that back out and we'll really push to see if there's uh, you never know there may be a podium in that car if we can uh, if we can push on so fingers crossed and hopefully Sammy's car's all right as well we'll just have to see that and check it out but yeah keep it tuned in from Alfie Brown who's looking to try and squeeze his way through. Yeah, the front end of that car doesn't quite look as it did uh, for Dave Drew. I think that was probably contact with front runners going past back markers there. So over the start finish line now we come. Joined by another Porsche runner, but the number 65 at Porsche, Warren Allen has uh, been taken. On to race two of Sunday's uh, day uh, race at uh, the Mini Challenge. Obviously, we've been here all weekend, and we're on the last race of the day of the weekend. Um, Chloe's starting in P8, um, eighth, so um, out of about 11 uh, different cars. So um, she's going to really try her hardest to kind of get up the field and try and uh, you know get a bit further up the field. She's got the pace for a sick but she was building before she actually spun so there's a chance that she can go further than that faster than that so hopefully sixth would be really good something like a fifth or more than that would be absolutely epic so it's coming up there in the car ready to go so fingers crossed it'll all be ready to rock and roll and she'll do better and, than she did there in the other races so keep an eye on the channel and we'll let you know how she gets I 
Hi guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. Welcome to another live feed. I am at uh, Rockingham now. I've been, yes, I've been at Snetterton all day um, today for the mini challenge, and I'm now um, at what was a, um, a sunny Rockingham. Um, clouds uh, still pretty um, decent and been a mega day literally I've been at Snetter all day and then I've just literally got to the um, watch uh, my friends or my my kind of teammates in the uh, Ashes Stag Do Ashes Ambulance and yeah basically that is the end of the 24 hour race at Rockingham for the Citroen C1 uh, Racing Club and uh, yeah I'm going to be racing these with the guys um, at Spa in Ashes Ambulance I'll show you the um, the car that I basically I'm going to be racing hopefully a bit more be a bit more straight rather than bent And if you would have watched from some of the live feeds on YouTube, you'd have seen that it's actually absolutely superb racing. Um, if you get a chance to watch any of the the feeds back from some of the racing uh, to see what this first uh, round of the 24 hour races for the C1 uh, club racing make sure you do because it's been absolutely superb it's been brilliant um i've been watching loads of it obviously as much as i can but i've been at obviously snetterton but yeah keep an eye on some of the uh videos that you'll see around of that like i say later in the year at spa i will be racing in the ashes ambulance um i'm about to uh, go and have a or have a few beers or a beer um with the guys um and yeah basically going to talk me through how uh, amazing that racing has been and i'm so jealous i was not in the car I had the offer to be in the car today, but um, money really more than anything and other things to do. So um, I turned it down, but I got here anyway. Um, the guys look so happy. They finished P29 out of 49. All 49 cars that started the race, finished the race, 24 hours, superb. I mean, what, what a cool little championship. Anyway, as always guys, um, thanks for watching. 
keep tuned in as always to live feeds and everything else. If you don't subscribe to us on YouTube, make sure you do. And we'll see you again on the next one.